Suspects were said to be part of the gang who ripped a census and numerator, stole high electronic gadget used for data entry and her phone. Nyanza police boss Vincent Makoha says the police have already located the area where the three are hiding using their phone signals. However, government spokesperson Colonel Retired Cyrus Aguna has termed the exercise generally successful indicating that those who will not have been counted by 31st should contact the area chiefs in order to get counted. As the enumerators continued to count Kenyans in different households last night, a group of suspected hooligans were lying in wait with evil intentions in Maseno sub-county Kisumu County. The three men pounced on an enumerator and gang raped her shortly after she was dropped off close to her house by her supervisor at the end of the exercise at about 1.30 a.m. The assailants made away with her money, enumeration gadget and a phone. She was taken to Coptic Hospital in Maseno and treated, and later recorded a statement with police at Maseno. Reports indicate that police are closing in on the three suspects. We cannot behave as if there is no security or government in place. We must protect everyone. This took place as reports indicate that at least 12 people were killed following two simultaneous attacks in Marsabit County along the Kenya-Ethiopia border with locals expressing fear that they may not participate in the census exercise. The census process in Marsabit County is not interrupted and is continued uh, as scheduled. Following reports that many people are yet to be enumerated, the government has directed that for both Sunday and Monday, the enumerators should maximize on the available time to ensure that as many Kenyans as possible are enumerated. The enumeration process will go on throughout the night and therefore Kenyans are urged to receive these enumerators when they come to your home. Meanwhile, President Kenyatta and his deputy William Ruto were among the first people to be enumerated, calling on Kenyans to embrace the exercise which they say is critical for planning. It's an exercise that is geared towards helping us better utilize your taxes to ensure that they get to the people. It will help the government of Kenya to be able to uh, plan going into the future. The exercise comes to an end on 31st August, with those still not counted, urged not to worry. We gave out the toll-free line that you're supposed to call and be able to uh, indicate that you've not been counted and arrangements will be made to have you counted. At the same time, Amnesty International, a non-governmental organization, has protested the move by enumerators to refuse to enumerate people who fail to produce their ID cards, especially in the northern frontier. Franklin Masharia, K24 TV.